He's much more confident now than, than he was initially. I think he was a little nervous and a little anxious. You know, maybe it was the case that he wasn't sure that he, he belonged here or that he was ready to be here. But I think, you know, he, he's, he has decided and realized that he is really an exceptional student and, 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 and deserves to be here, belongs here, and, and you know, someone that maybe you know, realizes that you know, he's the, he's the perfect student for an institution like ours. I see that he will probably in the future be very accomplished, very successful. And I really do see that he will work with probably teenagers. Uh, he just has that temperament. He has patience um, and the compassion. Gosh, he's so empathetic um, and knows how to set those boundaries. And to say at his age, and where he is in life, to be able to do that, that's in him. You, that's something hard to learn, but he knows how to do that. That comes easy. I can tell you that the teenage boys at the center right now, besides 17-year-old, I have a couple others, but they look up to him and they all go and tell their moms, I want to be like him. And you know, he doesn't know that they say that, but they do, they look up to him. Originally, I was going to just come here for two years, get my associates, and then move to a university, a larger one probably in Atlanta. And what ended up happening was I go to the faculty head of psychology, Dr. Hoff, and he was like, do you want to stay? Uh, we have this program lined up for bachelors in psychology, and we're lining it up with all these other big schools. So I looked at it. And I was like, well, I'm already here, so might as well. And it turned out to be really fun. <laughs> the, the confidence came from faking it till I actually made it. Um, even then, I'm not all there, but as long as no one else sees it, you can just go with it and then eventually start believing it. Because originally when I came here, I was super shy, reserved, and I still am. That's still my personality, but you need me to talk in front of people, I can do it. Beforehand, I would have sweated and I would have just been uncomfortable. And even though I'm uncomfortable, sometimes it doesn't matter. I just faked it till I actually had it. I think it all goes back to the human experience and a quality that tends to get lost is kindness and just doing a good deed just, just because, not posting it on Facebook, not posting on social media, just doing a good deed. The deeper reason I do it is for one of the, one of the qualities that we are kind of lacking in, 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 in humanity is kindness. We're so easy to fight, but yet to help each other up, it's hard. It's harder to pull people up than it is to just break them down. My parents were always really hard workers. They still are. I mean, they, my dad still pulls 10, 11 hour shifts and that's what he wants to do. Um, and he's happy about that. But I think that's where I got my drive. I think that's where my sisters got the drive to succeed in school and whatever we decide to do. So when I decided to volunteer, I decided, you know what, I'm not just going to volunteer, I'm going to be one of the best volunteers that I can be. And I wasn't raised in a home that did volunteering, but there was a drive there that I could just see. Um, that always working so many hours to make sure we have everything that, that we needed. 
I, I remember growing up and I had a really good childhood and I think every kid deserves that. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we're all just trying to make it get by and we all have different experiences. Being around the people that I am around, especially here at Dalton State, there is a lot of hope and I think, I think that's where it stems from. Um, the reason I volunteer, the reason I help others is because it's just, it, it really is the right thing to do and, it, and it, I think one person really can make a difference. I'd say that he doesn't give himself enough credit. I feel like he thinks that he needs to do so much and maybe even improve in so many areas that he really doesn't even understand how much of a positive role model he is, an extremely defined young man, and how successful he already is at his age, and how, and how much, and I tell him all the time, um, I try to, but I really don't think he knows, so he needs to know how appreciated he really is. And that's the best part, because he never expects anything in return.